and welcome back to my youtube channel it's sunday again where i post a new video and it so happens to be easter sunday i hope you're all having a wonderful easter with your friends and family um, and here in sweden we have a long weekend we usually have friday saturday sunday and monday off uh, today is sunday i thought i would take you around my house and show you uh, the decorations i've done uh, just to bring it up into to spring we've had a very long winter a very cold winter here we're all happy to see a lot of sun and people are out shopping and enjoying uh, this nice weather we're having this week um, and I just thought it would be fun to take you around my my living room and just show you the few things I did this year to make the house look a little bit more eastery a little bit more spring like and uh, to be able to enjoy the season we've been hoping let's start here in my living room downstairs as you can see I've added a few touches of pink um, to draw in from the pink that uh, is on the stomach of the bird up there on my painting I have brought in this floral pillow that I bought at H&M and a pink throw that is usually in my guest room upstairs and that's also a great way to make things feel fresh and new borrow something from another room and add it into uh, another place and it always feels fresh and new so you don't need to go out and buy so many different things i've also got a vintage looking easter egg which i've had for a while and in this plant as you can see i've added a few feathers um, that i bought last year on sale as you can see it's on a stick and i just pushed it into the plant and it looks very pretty i think uh, giving it a very subtle very uh, easy way to decorate for spring and easter in the dining room here as you can see i have a large centerpiece which is a very common uh, theme in sweden for easter you usually go out and you cut yourself a bunch of twigs or you can buy them at your local garden centre and you decorate them with a lovely bunch of feathers. You can get them in different variety of colours. I prefer the more muted colours to go with my more muted palette. I have added some eggs that I bought last year. They're very light and they're very pretty um, on 75% sale. I have added some feathers of different kinds and I've also added a few touches of pink bowls which is not very traditional in uh, Swedish homes but I like uh, the different things that uh, are on the branches so it gives the different types of texture when you are looking at it. I simply love this idea because it's so simple and comes together so quickly if you've got the eggs or if you've got the feathers. I have also just added a few Easter serviettes that I paper serviettes actually that I found and a jar um, that I have had for a while and I put a tea light into it uh, goes to show you don't need to have uh, different um, candle holders I just found something that I thought would go together with my theme and I just used it as a tea light holder and after this on the corner of my dining room i have a corner cupboard and in that i've got a big dough bowl with the leftover eggs and la feathers and a little bit of greenery uh in the corner here and with my battery uh operated candles uh that i use mostly year round uh use them for christmas and i rep repurpose them and recycle them for this little centerpiece a uh, corner piece uh, over there so that's the extent of my easter decorations down here i will take you to the entrance where i have a few subtle touches as well to see this is my front entrance and as you can see most of this stuff stays uh, all year round um, I've just added a few simple touches. This wreath is a wreath I have the entire year and I've just added a few more of those uh, petal uh, flowers in there to make it look a little bit pretty and co cohesive with the ones that I have in my sitting room and a couple of bunnies over here and some muted colored candles and 
Over here I have some eggs that I can I also bought on sale and that I can actually stick into my uh, orchid pot here with some feathers. Um, there are very simple decorations uh, to do and that's the extent of the decorations I have here in my sitting room. So as you can see, that is the extent of my Easter spring decor that's uh, downstairs. I don't do any of the other rooms. I don't really have the time and everybody is down here enjoying what we have created down here. Um, so you don't feel the need to have to decorate all the rooms in your house or go all out because it's just too much. And as parents, we don't have the time uh, to do it all. Uh, au contraire, there is a lot of people who say, um, that you could, a lot of YouTube channels that say, do it all, get it all done. And uh, I don't know, I, I personally can't get it all done. Um, holding a full-time job and two children and I also want to be able to entertain and enjoy time with my friends and family and do all those things as well so um, this is how I get to do all of it is by doing only the bare minimum uh, for the most amount of impact uh, and so these are the decorations that I do and I hope this has been helpful in trying to make you feel uh, better about uh, not having decorated for Easter or having decorated or maybe you've decorated much more than I have and that makes you feel better about more what you have accomplished and all the power to you. Uh, I'm just here to show you that it can be done a very simple way, uh, very easy, very minimal and also that uh, it's fine if you have a lot of time and you like to decorate a lot and use um, decorate the whole house um, I think it's, it's it's great I just don't have the time or the energy or the inclination to do so uh, especially after you go all out for Christmas uh, Easter for me is a pared down version of it um, thank you very much for joining me uh, this Sunday I hope uh, it was entertaining or that you enjoyed seeing the sort of decor that I do here and I will see you next week on Sunday as well when I release a new video thank you very much and Take care and remember, be kind to yourself. Bye-bye. See you next week.